no regrets. I mean, I really love being here. Everything is so pristine and it's natural, and I really enjoy it here. I, I barely live here. Uh, hi, Koike. Hello, Vanessa, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Nice to see you nice here. Nice to see you, and welcome uh, to the swan. Thank you so much. Arriving in style. Well, that's how I've got to do it. <laughs> four by four. Yeah. So we're here at Akisombo, sure. beside Lake Volta. You have built this incredible floating house here. That's right. So I want to hear all about it. And I also heard that you've actually moved from Florida That's right. back to Ghana. That's right. So we can get into that a little bit as well. Sounds good. I'll be glad to do that. Oh, perfect. Welcome once again. This is the Swan and it's the only floating structure of its kind on the Volta Lake. Wow. Yeah. So enjoy it. Whilst you're on it. <laughs> I mean, you can feel that we're floating because yeah. it's kind of like being on a boat a little bit, but it's quite steady. It's sturdy, yeah. Mm -hmm. But absolutely, you got to feel like you're on water. Mm -hmm. That element's got to be there. Why yeah. did you come up with this idea of making a floating structure? Well, it was based on necessity. So we have very limited space on the waterfront. So there's always been a need to um, explore and venture into new spaces. So looking around, the biggest space we could find was water. Mm -hmm. So we decided to put some structures and develop whatever it takes to put structures on water. Mm -hmm. So we came wow. up with a swan. So part of the swan, yeah. so this is the first area we arrived to. It's like an outdoor seating area right. and swimming pool. Yes. But the swimming pool is the lake. The swimming pool is the lake. <laughs> and you can't get it any better because this is fresh water. Mm -hmm. uh, water has been tested and it's oh, okay. good and it's you know, mainly bacteria free. To, oh, so it's safe to, to swim in it's the safe, water it's here. It's safe to swim in. I've been doing this for like the last eight years and I've had no problems. Okay, so. that's perfect. Because I didn't know if you could swim in the lake or not. Yeah, so it's great can. to hear. So this this pool, you only find it here at the, at the float. Okay. This was all conceptualized here. It's so peaceful here. Did you come up with this whole idea yourself? I got everything on my laptop. Oh, wow. That's the nice thing about sitting out here, you know? When you sit out here, you're able to think and you know come up with new ideas. Mm -hmm. you know? So to think that this was just an idea and now yeah. you've made it into a reality. That's right. It makes me very happy. When did you move to the States and why? Um, I left Ghana in 1996 after my A-level. Okay. W went to Infancipim. After Infancipim, I left to the States, you know, did mechanical engineering. Um, done a lot of work in Florida, both in corporate and private sector designing houses, you know, done several houses, uh, been into the uh, air conditioning industry. Okay. So when it comes to buildings. Wow. Yeah, you know it all. I'll know it all. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I've ventured into high tech industries, you know, okay. working on pacemakers, implantable pumps, oh, right. you know, wow. world leading technology companies and stuff like that. So. And then when did you decide now is the time to go home? Ah, uh, I needed some space to relax and you know mm. venture into more undeveloped areas where you know my skills could you know make an impact mm -hmm. and there was no place than coming back home to ghana and how long <laughs> have you been back now uh so since 2019 i've been back i spent most of my time over here all right okay. the float. about 98 percent of my time i spend it here oh yeah perfect. so um this is the swan is the entrance and you're welcome Thanks. come in the first thing that hits me is the smell is divine. Like this is my favorite smell. And it's by design, it's by purple. I, mean, oh, I love is. the wood. I love the wood. Yeah. So is there a story behind this wood? Yes. So all this wood, I bought it from a local company here. Um, they specialize in extracting wood from under the water. Wow. So most of this wood has been under the water lake for uh, as long as what 60 years or more okay um so well and i'm, I'm very happy to use wood that is local locally to this sourced. area yeah yeah locally mm -hmm. so this is very hard wood it's called cane mm -hmm. and uh, smells just so so nice i love it so this wood is called uh mazonia i i didn't get it from the volta lake i wish i got it oh, from okay, here okay. but i got it from uh somewhere in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. It's also really, really nice. Really nice. nice you know? So I just wanted something to complement my floor and mm -hmm. just give it that whole uh, wood feel. Mm. And the doors as well. So did you decide on the design of the doors? Yes. So all the specs are on my laptop. 
I oh. designed it to exact millimeter. Wow. So I just feel bad for the carpenters. I mean, they were under extreme <laughs> pressure to produce. And high you were always stuff. there I watching them. Go anywhere else. I had to be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Do you think to run a successful business here in Ghana, you have to be on the ground? Absolutely. Okay. Especially in the initial stages. You definitely have to be on the ground. Spend mm -hmm. a lot of time and supervise everything. And yeah. It's, it's very critical. So how long did it take you to build this one? So I started in October. Okay. Um, so that's about five, six months. Yeah. And the building process. I saw a video of you under you here. Did. Yeah, yeah. Underneath. <laughs> really? oh. And I thought, wow, dedication. Oh yeah. Can you actually stand under here at this point? Or no, is it... no. We were oh, floating. Right. Oh, so yeah. it's deep. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty deep. It's it's about um fifteen feet where we are now. Okay. Fifteen feet of water. What was the, the build process like? What sort of challenges did you come across? I'll say weather. Oh right, you know, okay. Because on a typical day when we're doing all our welding and you know, doing all our work and the wind just comes in. Over here we have something called the tropical squalls. Mm -hmm. That just happens. It's just about minimum eight uh, meters per second winds that wow. just comes in high winds and it's really powerful. Mm -hmm. So we had to design around all that. You know, mm. so there are so many variables, rising yeah. water levels. We had to keep relocating the structure. Mm -hmm. and, and keep it connected to you know electricity for welding and stuff like oh, that oh right okay you know so can it move absolutely wow. you tell us where you want to go i mean that i could take so you across cool. the river <laughs> you tell me how you want to go to bed facing well, like sunset or wake up facing sunrise that is so so you, cool let us know and we will reorient it for you wow you know it's so it's really really unique like i've never seen anything like this I anywhere in the world <laughs> <laughs> well here saw, we are you've created yeah, it yeah i saw I swear that only one place and it was in my head, that was it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so then when you were actually building, what yeah. is this constructed with? How is it floating? Yeah, so it's uh, all based on buoyancy. We're using uh, steel tubes, okay. um, cylindrical steel tubes, quite a number of them. And we have other uh, you know, flo floatable devices under just for redundancy and for safety. Uh, increased factor of safety and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so Would you be open to building these for other people or you're just building them for yourself? Absolutely. Um, I, I would like to build it for other oh, people. Oh, right, okay. I, I would like to see a whole community on the water lake. Oh, that would that's make a me great very happy, idea. You know? Yeah. You ready for one? I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. ready. <laughs> one on the water for you. <laughs> I want to be able to just move my house wherever <laughs> I want to move exactly. to. This section of the video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, allowing me to bring out free content on my channel. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes from animation to music production to gardening, and it covers so many different things. Currently, I'm taking Productivity Masterclass, Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity by Ali Abdal, who I absolutely love. And what is really helping me about this class is the fact that I want to live the life of my dreams. I want to be able to create YouTube videos while spending a lot of time with my kids. And that means I need to be productive. And I'm learning so many tips and tricks from this video. If you're interested in taking a Skillshare class, then head down into my description and the first 1,000 people to click on the link will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Enjoy. So the reason why I'm here is because I met Claudia a couple of weekends ago at the Meet and Create and she told me all about this floating house in the middle of the lake and I said I have to be here. So Claudia did the interior design of this house and she's going to let us know a little bit about that and we can have a full tour of the swan. Hey Claudia! Hello! <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Finally made it down, welcome! Yeah, thanks so much. I was so excited. Honestly, when you first showed me that image, mm. I thought, wow, I've never seen anything like it, yeah. like I was just saying to Koiku. Yeah. So could you show me around the whole place, like a sort of tour? Yeah, definitely. So I mean, we could probably just start with this space over here. So it's quite open at the moment, but ideally we probably will get like a sofa area here just mm -hmm. for people to chillax, etc. We can go to this one here. I wouldn't say I'm an interior designer, <laughs> but I am about creating positive spaces. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, you know, I do 
kind of my BIMFIT training with the ladies and every last week of the month we do a restoration week. So when I came on here I said this is exactly where I want to do it but I need to make sure that everything is intact and hence the reason why I elected myself <laughs> to put everything in place. A lot of these pieces were sourced from Accra, really difficult to try and get pieces in a Kosumbo. So mm. you kind of, it's not like your local, I don't know, shops, you know, back in London where you can just go online and get what you need to get. It was quite challenging. So you know, we come in here as well and you can have a shower with the view. Again, just trying to pick anything that kind of symbolises wildlife, freshness, plants, etc. And then just the calming colours as well. You know? And the smell, it's just, I can't get the yeah, smell. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> smells as well. I think that's another thing about me is I really love nice smells. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's just amazing. And then you've got this room over here. And then obviously you've got the view over here. You just open the window and it's just peace. Mm. It's just peace, it's just absolutely divine. When I went into this bathroom for the first time and I saw this view, I think this has to be the best view here. It's like a picture, the way it's framed. Mm. So beautiful. And then this is where we have the, um, just kind of like a communal kitchen area. So again, you know, just quite pretty basic, but you know, you've got your amenities like your microwave and the fruit basket etc. So thanks so much for showing me around the swan. I'd love to find out the other things you can do sure. here mm -hmm. at the float yeah. so maybe we can go and check those out. Definitely. You ready? Yeah I'm ready. <laughs> and you could get up and walk around and enjoy the pristine waters. So I've had such a lovely time meeting Kweku, meeting Claudia again, and having a look around this floating house in Ghana, in Akasombo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you're notified every time I make an upload and let me know what you thought about this house in the comment section below. See you later. Bye.